Hey guys, it's Lori Ballin out here in Las Vegas, Nevada with Lori Ballin Team Real Estate. And today I'm going to show you how to add a call to action on your Facebook business page to uh, offer a call to action to download your app. Okay, so there are lots of ways to play with your Facebook business page. And there's actually different types of business pages that can change the functionality of your uh, business page. But for today, I think what we'll do is we're going to change the learn more button, whatever button you have right here, we're going to edit that. So that might be a, unless you have that set for a chat bot, then you may not want to put that there. But I'm going to show you how to edit this one today. So we're going to go into edit button. All right, now here's our options. They can book with me, contact me, learn about my business, shop with you, download my app, or join the community. So we're gonna go ahead and go with download the app, and we're gonna choose use app next. Now, we have to choose where we want people to go to download the app, okay? So you need to have your app URL. So there's a couple places, there's many places to get it. Uh, one is to actually go through the Kelly guide. So you may, might be seeing this notification up top here. If you click there, you're gonna get to Kelly guide. And here's the URL for that Kelly guide. I will, um, in case you can't see this, I'll put it in the video. So it's agent.kw.com slash command slash Kelly guides slash consumer dash settings. All right, just so that you know. So if you click get started, and then you go to next, you're gonna to get to a page here that actually, when you click start, is going to give you your app URL. You're just going to copy that URL, and you're going to paste it right here in the Facebook, oops, <laughs> wrong one. That's my flower subscription box. It said copy, but it didn't copy, did it? Let's try that again. It lied to me. It said copied. All right, there it is. Click save, finish. Now you have the use app. Does it, did it give me the ability to edit what the button says? Use app, edit. Use app, next. All right, so it's not letting me change. I, I don't know why, I just kind of wanted to say get the app, but we'll go with what they're saying here. All right, so then you can test the button and it'll show you what page it goes to. Sure enough, there's my um, app page. There's the app video, key features, everything they need to download my app. And then you'll be able to see how they're um, working within command. Now, another thing I wanna show you is where to get it if you don't see that blue thing here. You're gonna to go to the left and go down to consumer. Then you're gonna to go to site and app settings right here up at the top. Then you're gonna to go to URLs right here, URLs and then here is your app URL. So you can also register a custom domain name, like at GoDaddy, you could say balanapp.com, marysmithsapp.com, because this is hard to remember. <laughs> so, and then you could forward it to that app address. So that might just be a quick, easy way for you to um, grab something that you, you, you could say, hey, download my app at downloadloriesapp.com, you know, whatever. So that is how you do that. Nice and easy today. There's your video and easy homework for you.